Supramolecular materials that fully degrade when soaked in salt water have the potential to help address the microplastics pollution crisis. Microplastics, small fragments of plastics less than 5 millimeters across, now infiltrate every corner of our planet, from remote regions of the deep ocean and the Arctic to the very air we breathe. Increasingly, microplastics are also found in our bodies, including in our blood and brains. While the impact on the environment and human health is still not fully understood, these contaminants are known to cause a range of problems in marine and terrestrial ecosystems, including slowing the growth of animals, which impacts fertility and causes organ dysfunction. Seawater solution Riken scientists are aiming to tackle the problem of microplastics in the ocean with a new material that biodegrades in salt water. Similar in weight and strength to conventional plastics, the new material could chart a new path to reducing plastics pollution, as well as reduce greenhouse gas emissions associated with burning plastics, says Takuzo Aida, a material scientist who heads the Emergent Soft Matter Function Research Group at the Riken Center for Emergent Matter Science in Wako, Japan. They are also easy to recycle by using specific solvents to break down the material's bonds at the molecular level, meaning that supramolecular polymers can be easily reused and repurposed. Plastic products are everywhere for a reason, says Ada. Plastics, especially polyethylene terephthalate, which is used in bottles, are incredibly versatile. They are flexible but strong, durable and recyclable. It's hard to beat that convenience. Biodegradable plastics have been touted as an alternative, but Ada says the speed and conditions at which they degrade have been a major challenge. For instance, he says, significant amounts of polylactic acid, PLA, a plastic that biodegrades in soil, have been found intact in the ocean because it takes too long to break down under standard environmental conditions. As a result, it eventually ends up intact in the ocean. Driven by a sense of urgency for the planet's future, Aida began seeking ways for supramolecular materials to overcome these challenges. But the reversible nature of the supramolecular polymer bonds are also their weakness, since the materials disintegrate too easily, he says. This had limited their applications. His team set out to discover a combination of compounds that would create a supramolecular material with good mechanical strength, but that can break down quickly under the right conditions into non-toxic compounds and elements. Aida had a specific reaction in mind, one that would lock the material's molecular bonds and could only be reversed with a specific key, salt. After screening various molecules, the team found that a combination of sodium hexametaphosphate, a common food additive, and guanidinium ion-based monomers, used for fertilizers and soil conditioners, formed salt bridges. However, Ada cautions that this also requires careful management. While these elements can enrich soil, they could also overload coastal ecosystems with nutrients, which are associated with algal blooms that disrupt entire ecosystems. The best approach may be to largely recycle the material in a controlled treatment facility using seawater. This way, the raw materials could be recovered to produce supramolecular plastics again, he says. In addition to developing alternatives to fossil fuel-derived plastic, Ada argues that governments, industries, and researchers must also act decisively to drive change. Without more aggressive measures, the world's plastics production and corresponding carbon emissions could more than double by 2050. With established infrastructures and factory lines, it's extremely challenging for the plastics industry to change, says Ada. But I believe there will come a tipping point where we have to power through change. And a technology like this will be needed when that time comes. Not only is the supramolecular material degradable, but Ida hopes what is left after it breaks down could be usefully reused.